Okay, before I put this 2010 back together, you know, the front part and the back part, I wanted to uh, take a chance to actually show you uh, the clutch. Um, and I might do this as a separate video, but this is so you can understand how this works. Of course, if you look here, this is the flywheel. You have your pressure plate, and inside you have the clutch disc. And it was always baffling to me whenever I was younger, whenever somebody had tried to explain to me how the uh, the PTO can work, and even whenever you have the clutch depre dis depressed, how how does that work? So this is how it works. If I take a, a shot here, you can see the uh, input shaft. So this one is for the transmission. This one here is for the drive shaft. So as you can see, down here, pressure plate gets bolted to the flywheel. So they spin in unison. And of course inside, whenever you have your clutch de depressed, the one for the drive shaft will not spin. It'll sit there idle as this spins around, this will just sit here, along with the pressure plate. So, how can you get, how can you get uh, power to the PTO even whenever you have the, the clutch depressed? This is uh, kind of neat, it's all showed to you. Right here, is your pressure plate. And if you look on the splines for the for the PTO shaft, you have splines that match up on your pressure plate. So it slides on there like this. So your pressure plate spins to provide power to your PTO. Now as you can see, pressure plate spinning along with your flywheel, which is gonna be connected to these bolts right here. So the flywheel spins, pressure plate spins, and it transfers power to the PTO. This is for the drive gears. It's for the actual transmission. It spins separately. And so it is connected to your clutch plate. That's gonna sit right on, come on, spin around. Don't be a punk punk. Okay. I swear I can do this. All right. So it sits right there, and that's how it spins. So whenever you push the clutch in, this will essentially sit still, and this continues to spin with the motor and the flywheel. Once you release the clutch, and it gets clamped, now it spins together. And this will drive your transmission. And that's how that works. For the PTO, there's actually a separate set of clutch in this clutches, uh, most tra tractors, and this one, in small, it's actually located down and under here by the PTO shaft. And if you take the covers off of the PTO shaft there, which I've done already, you'll find it actually has a set of uh, clutch discs in there that are actuated by the uh, PTO lever. All right, just thought I'd include that.